Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be jumping into some silent gems and also getting this uh, ore system automated. Hopefully you guys are ready. Alright guys, so today we're going to be getting started with a little bit of silent gems. We did open up that quest, and I just want to get this stuff kind of started because it's a really neat mod. Um, I actually went ahead and emptied out the entire loot chest that I had, and which contained every single one of the dark gems. So I can complete that quest. That one was done. I think I have all the regular gems. I just need to actually clean them. Um, and same with the light gems. I have most of them. Um, I think some of them... I don't know what this actually comes from. It's from Nuclear Craft it shows. I think most of that is between... Uh, ooh, that had a bunch of jerky in it. That's a weird, weird one. I've never actually got that one before. So yeah, that was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we need to kind of get started here. All right. So first things first. Um, when we take a look at the uh, the quest here, we see that it goes down the line of getting all the gems. Then we have to get into chaos, which opens up everything else. Um, and then we have something to do with summoning pets and stuff like that. That's part of the regular gems here. Um, but what I want to do is get chaos essence. Now this stuff is not easy to get in this pack. So. Um, if we take a look at Chaos Essence, you see that um, the only real way to get it is with the Cauldron Cleaning, and you need Dirty Chaos, which you get from Mining Stone. So, I actually have um, a few of them. That's a 2.2% chance of getting it, so I had to go through a bunch of stone in preparation for this episode. Um, so, just keep that in mind. I think I went through seven stacks of compressed stone so just keep that in mind when doing this um, but we're gonna need to eventually make a burner chaos pylon but to get started we can make a passive chaos pylon um, and to do that we're gonna need this and the reason I want this chaos pylon is to affect this chaos altar now this chaos altar is going to be used to duplicate our chaos essence or diamond or the cost of diamond we can do. We can basically make a chaos essence. Um, so one of these chaos essences turn into nine shards, and four shards can be used to turn into one chaos. So just keep that number in mind. Um, so you can pretty much get for one chaos, you can duplicate it in this machine. So just keep that in mind. That's what we're going to be doing today. So that way we can uh, get that duplication down. Preferably, I would like to get the burner chaos pylon. It does uh, a significantly more. Um, chaos transfer than uh, this does. So we're going to have to deal with that today. Alright, so to get this we're going to need the enriched chaos essence and some quartz. So we're going to have to do some cleaning of some quartz and I think I have a bucket. No, I don't. I probably am going to have to make a bucket because I don't remember where I put any of my buckets. It's okay. We'll get this done. So, here's our dirty chaos. And we're going to need to wash this stuff off. So, there we go. We've already unlocked our first quest. I love how sometimes this lasts longer than others. Like right now, the water lasted a lot longer. It's kind of weird how that works. And do I think I have some quartz. Quartz comes from the nether rack, but I have some quartz in here. Awesome, so I can make a quartz block, right? Because we're going to eventually need to be making this. But I'm going to need to make this chaos core. Okay, so now that we have the chaos essence, let's look at making that chaos core. Um, this is like the first thing you need to get into. You need to make chaos to be able to do anything else. Um, and I'm pretty sure the quest also states that as well. Um... Did it say that we needed... Okay, so we need to make Enrich Chaos. And then it'll open up that tab. Um, so we're fixing to make Enrich Chaos. So let's get some Glowstone and some Redstone, because we're going to need both of those. And we're going to make our first Enrich Chaos. Now, that completed. And it unlocked this. So we're gonna, it wants us to make both of them. So we're going to try and make both of them. I hope I have enough Chaos. I, I want enough to at least be able to get the Chaos Altar. So, that is a thing. So I'm going to need 
a few more of these. That'd be three. That's enough to make this. I need a block of quartz. And then I can make the chaos core. And I need five red or five obsidian and some lapis. And bam, we now have passive chaos gin. We have this passive chaos gin. It's kind of weird how this stuff works. I can actually keep it in this room. Right now, it is going to send chaos energy to me, and I'm going to get a bar there. Um, it is pretty slow, but this is free. This doesn't cost anything. So having this this passive chaos gin works just fine. Um, which means we can make a chaos altar, which I really want to make, because this is going to require four more, and we don't have that much, I don't think. This just requires one. And once it's done with me, I should be good, right? Let's see. So we have the chaos altar. It needs two diamonds. Where's that? There it is. And some redstone. So here's our chaos altar. And I'll put that there. And it's going to start filling this up with chaos. This is going to start filling with chaos. Our bar is completely full, so it's no longer wanting to go to us. But it will fill this up. So we should be able to use this as a catalyst down here. Take one of these and turn it into shards. And put the shards in here. And it should start working over time. It's probably going to be slow. We're going to need to probably grind out a little bit more so I can get this burner pylon. This guy is where it really shines with making uh, making this uh, chaos. So how much do I need? I need a little bit more. So I'm going to do some more mining. I'm going to go through a few more stacks of the uh, lovely uh, stone. And I'll be back. So I'm getting a few more of these chaoses done. There we go. And now I should have enough when I pop in here, grab my other chaos at 16. That should be enough to make four more of those. I did kind of clear off my inventory, so let me get my stuff back out. There we go. So that should be enough to make this guy. We're going to need a few quartz. And we're going to have to upgrade this. So, we'll make another chaos core. Two blocks of redstone. A furnace, as weird as that may sound. And that's mainly, I, th I think the furnace is because you're going to be burning coal fuel in here. And it does last quite a while. Um, and we have two obsidian. Awesome. And all we have to do is break this. Now this has been working. We need to get this guy back. And then, bam. Should have unlocked the quest. And there we go. It's completed. Also we get the chaos altar one. And it's wanting to store chaos. Um... I'm actually really concerned about getting uh, chaos duplicated. So there we go. Now we can throw burnable, burnable fuels in there. Such as blocks of coal would work. And that's going to start sending chaos, a lot more chaos, into this machine. We should actually see the bar moving. Um, and if I just leave this going, it's going to slowly duplicate our stuff. So, that's just something I want to keep in mind, or want, want you guys to understand. So you don't have to constantly grind for stone to get that. This is going to be a mess. I hate that. <laughs> that's such a troll. So yeah, it's going a lot faster than it was earlier, which is perfect. Um, yeah, that water sits there and knocks out our light sources. I don't like that either. I kind of want to see this duplicate. Um, so yeah, we're pushing our way to storing 
So we would make a fragile chaos orb. As you can see, it requires all of the chaos essence. And like I said, there's just not a good way of getting chaos. I mean, you can't make chaos ores. I mean, you might be able to find them. I haven't really looked to see if some of these are chaos, but there are ores that are lined all around us. Um, like right down there is actually, that's chaos. But, so we could actually have went down there and used that node um, to build chaos, but do it the regular way. And it should work. There we go. It didn't even consume our diamond. It's just working. So we can take this one, turn it again, and just throw more of that in there. And that's going to keep making, as long as we have fuel in here, that's going to keep working over and over again. How cool is that? By the way, we got some void stone. And we got another leaf blower. Yeah, so it, this is just a waiting game. Until I can get 16 more chaos. Um, so I can make two of these to, to pump into this thing. Then it would be even faster. And thus making chaos not a problem at all. So um, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to work up uh, trying to get some more chaos. So I can make another one of these. I would actually need... 16 hopefully by the time it gets there i can get 16 more yeah it's gonna be a while i'll be right back all right so i'm back i've been doing this for quite a while um keeping this maintained it has not consumed a diamond so i guess you just put the item in there and that just represents uh what the change is going to happen uh, usually catalysts get consumed um but not in this case so that's a good thing um so i ended up with uh, nine extra now i have been just constantly pulling these out redoing them throwing them back in and letting them duplicate. Um, but now is when I just recently started collecting these things. So uh, the reason I'm doing all this is because I want to get flight uh, and we're going to get that eventually. Uh, you need, I think it is 38. Uh, we have 16. Um, so you have 16 just for this set uh, of chaos um, essence. And then it goes even deeper. And you would have 1, 2, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 28. You need 28 Chaos Essence um, to be able to make the uh, Rune of Chaos. And then there's also the, the Jewel that you'd have to need, uh, you would need right here. Or the Chaos Ruby, which is even more expensive, as you can see. Requiring even more Essence. Um, so, what we have 28... Uh, in total, right? 28. So in total, to be able to get flight, we need 64 Chaos Essence in total. Not mentioning, you know, feathers and stuff like that that we need to collect. Um, but we do have chickens for that. So yeah, that is something that I'll have to work on. Because like I said, this takes a long time. As of right now, I only need... 8 chaos, so all this can be turned in and duplicated, and vice versa. Um, it seems to be going pretty fast, and it seems to be, it seems to have enough power to run on its own. So, the next thing on our quest, though, is to actually make the fragile chaos orb, which is a, a chaos storage uh, unit. Um, it doesn't store that much, but it does store chaos, so that way you can use special tools and uh, have a bit more uses out of them. So, um, right here. Oh, this is a reinforced chaos orb? I think the reinforced one actually requires um, even more. Um... So here's our orbs. The reinforced one requires the enriched chaos. So boy, we're gonna need a bunch of this actually. And that gives a thousand. This one gives a hundred thousand extra chaos. This one gives us a million. So yeah, we're gonna need to wait a lot longer. So this is something that we can't really do right now, um, because as you know, the recipe for this enriched require four a piece, 
and there's just not a good way of getting it, you know. Um, breaking stone down a lot doesn't get us that much, and it's not that fast. It's pretty much a 0.3% chance out of every stone to get this, and very low chances there. And I just don't see that that being something that's easy to do. This is going to be the fastest method by far. We just really have to wait, and it's a lot of waiting. So this quest line can be uh, stunt for right now. We can kind of stop it. Not that big of a deal. And then this, I don't really know too much about this right here. Um, it says vines can be obtained from huge jungle trees, and lily pads can be obtained from fishing. But what's that have to do with the imbuing station? Um, you can also get lily pads and vines from other things as well, from this. Uh, from Batania, so that is another thing. Um, we did unlock Master Chef. I was wanting to look and see what gardens needed. What do we have to do to make gardens? Okay, so we get gardens from using the compressed grinder or using the gr any grinder on leaves. Okay. So that's one thing we can do. And then we also have actually additions. It wants us to put um We'll just put a lens of the miner on this thing. Then we have charging with RF, drill, um, automatically manipulating blocks. That is block breaker placer, um, precision dropper, fluid placer, and fluid collector. All of those things are really good things. And then it gets us into empowering. And I, I don't know if it wants us to work with canola power. I haven't seen any of that. I do see this right here, different types of coal. That's stemmed from this section all the way over here. Um, but getting an empower would be nice eventually. Not this episode, but we will do it eventually. Um, and then getting a drill. Drill would be a very nice tool to have. Um, let's see. We can do the generating ore and kind of make this lens. The lens of the miner is not a hard thing to make. Any of the lenses. So here's the basic lens. So we need some glass. Piece of black quartz. And we get a lens. Um, now we can transform form this lens by dropping it here and letting it shot. So this one is a lens of color, lets you convert stuff over. Lens of detonation. Blows things up. Lens of certain death. Back to a normal lens. But to get this guy, we're going to need quite a few different materials. Um, and this is going to be a pretty interesting setup, actually. So, we need diamond, gold, iron, Emerald, Lapis, Quartz. And two Black Quartz. Right? Oh, and a piece of coal. Can't forget the coal. There we go. So the Lens of the Miner is an interesting uh, guy. Which we just got that quest completed. So what we can do is we can change this mode. Actually, I need a piece of, I need a stick and a red, and a piece of redstone. We're gonna change this pulse mode um, to something different. Set that to keep shooting. And what this is gonna do is gonna hit this block whenever we have. The lens of miner on it. And it's going to convert it into any type of uh, ore. Now this is going to use a thousand RF each time it shoots out. Um, but with the lens of the miner, it won't 
use the power unless it actually change changes a block. It is going to use a thousand though each time it does produce. But that is a thing. Um, and you can also set a timer and all that good stuff. Let's turn this back. We're going to grab a timer. And we can use this timer for right now. This is a pretty good example of this, uh, how this is going to work. Go back here. I'm going to place my timer down. I'm going to give it, uh, I think it says the uh, maximum is 1200. What's the maximum tick delay you can put on this thing? Um, so right now it's at the pulse mode, so every time that that ticks, it is going to go towards this block. And here's where we can make the auto placer and breaker. So we have our lovely auto placer, and I think I have all the materials to be able to make this. Pretty sure I do. Let's get to making it. Just cobblestone in it. Just cobblestone. Alright, so this is an auto placer. This is going to place the block, which would be stone. And then we can have a block breaker. And we'll have to have something that recognizes the block. Um, so, I'm pretty sure, actually, Additions has a detector. Don't actually know. I'll have to look in the quest. Maybe it's in here. It's not here. Uh, detector. Go to actually editions and check. Because I remember there being a... A block that recognizes the block that is next to it. And we can configure it from there. But I'm not seeing it. Because that's going to be the only way we can get this to, to work right. Alright, so I found what block I needed. It was the scanner. Um, so we need a dropper. Lovely. So let's get a dropper set up. With a spider eye, which I have a bunch over here. A lovely spider eye there. And this is pretty much going to, uh, it's going to detect and give a redstone signal based upon what block we have placed in front of it. It's a plus to have that. There we go. Dropper. And then we have a scanner. Alright, so we can pretty much get rid of this block. Thank you. And it's going to shoot right here. I think we can have it placed directly up against it. I don't I don't want to do that. So let's place our stone here. We'll put our scanner here. Facing it. Not away from it. Just like that. And set to current block, which is stone. So now if we have our redstone. It gives a redstone signal. Perfect. Exactly what I want it to do. And then we're going to take our block breaker. Right here. And while this redstone's active, it won't break, right? So actually get a... Comparator, right? No? Let me try to remember what I want it to do. I need to place a block right here. And there we 
go. And as you can see, it just broke the block, but I don't want it to do that. There's that. So when s there's stone here, it's getting a redstone signal. Whenever I activate this, which I don't have a button or anything, but I can, I can use a pressure plate. When I have that, it changes, then breaks it. Perfect. Um, and then we have our placer. We're gonna automatically place the stone for us. And we just give this stone. And it will continue to place stone and do this process over and over again. Blah, blah, blah. We just need a timer on it so that way we know these guys are getting power. And we also need to get some coal in there as well. Might actually want to set some hoppers to make sure this is getting coal. So the way this guy fills up. All right, let me just set a timer on this thing and leave it alone. And I can set it to, let's see, thousand ticks. So every thousand ticks, it's going to do the process of shooting this and changing it. And it's going to go into here and we can get some kind of storage chest it to go into right we can take a dense storage throw that right on the side and it should pump the item into this into this chest instead of throwing it in the floor perfect so pretty easy setup there um it's not going to be permanent because there's really no need for me to do this um i just don't don't find it really useful but that is what it means by setting up this. Why it wants you to make that lens. Um, it wants you to do this. I don't know if that helps to get you chaos. Because it doesn't show. But stuff like this is going to be a problem. Because um, like sulfur and it dropped coal. I can't be here to pick it up. And I could use the hopper. From uh, actually additions. But I'm, I just don't want to do that right now. So that's just another step in the process. Yeah, this guy is not that hard to set up, and as you can see, it does work. So, pretty nice, um, pretty nice, and I'm going to end up taking that back down. Just wanted to show it as an example. Um, but yeah, we got our quest done here. And under actually additions, that completes that quest. Um, now, making the drill, I'm, it's not a necessity right now. Um, charging it with RF is another thing that's not a necessity right now. Automatically um, manipulating blocks. We've already got one of those done. We will get into the rest of them. Automated farming is going to be something that we're going to use here in a little bit. Probably a few episodes from now because we really need a good source of RF for this. It does use quite a bit of RF for that process. But yeah, we're getting into a lot of things. Um, and then the basic factory. That's some stuff that we haven't really touched fully on. Um, we're still missing a few things and I'm going to need that. Because if we look... What we're going to be getting towards is this stuff from Random Things, Psy, and we're also going to be moving forward to Machine Upgrades with Factory. Um, that looks new. Uh, so, yeah, to be able to get into Forestry, we're going to need all of those Machine Upgrade Overclocks, which that sounds ridiculous in itself. And then all of this stuff is automation through a couple machines, I think. Like the blades and stuff can all be made in, I think, one machine. All these can be made in one machine, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it's it's kind of ridiculous, but uh, we're going to get there. We're going to get this done. And we're going to get more tabs opened up, because we already got like, at least a quarter of the tabs opened. Which is pretty cool. I mean, we're getting pretty far. I do need to build more platforms. Today is my birthday, technically. I know you guys are watching this the day after, so it'll be the day after my birthday. Um, so it's going to be a little bit shorter of an episode. But uh, I have a lot to get done today, and I might even stream. So if you guys want to check that out... I am streaming almost every other day, so you can find that out at uh, twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect. 
You can find me there, link down in the description if you just want to direct click. Also, I have a Discord. If you guys want to check that out, I really appreciate it. And I also have a Patreon. Um, Patreons do get uh, some nice support. They do get some nice uh, perks, such as custom Discord rewards. And they also get access to a server uh, that I host. So just keep that in mind. If that's something you want to do, uh, feel free to check that out. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.